So today, uh, the three ways that you can overcome the fear of the cold the fear. The first one is have a community that holds you accountable. So here at Jungle Gym, yeah, it is cold as fuck today. So here at Jungle Gym, we have a community of people who do cold changes, right? Ice bats. Come, come, I'll show them the ice. Like this, right? So when you see someone that is part of your gang do the ice bath with you, you have no option but to do it. So community is basically the way you will overcome any challenge, especially something like this where you have to see it being done. So when you see people doing ice baths over and over, right? And you see them go, go in there and they're alive after. They're happy after, they feel good after. Then you know everything is gonna be okay because your buddies are doing this with you. Your brothers and sisters are fighting the war with you. So that's the first way to overcome any challenge. Have a community that supports you. make it a habit so every morning we come here and uh, we do breath work right after breath work we do Wim Hof four rounds right after that we get in the cold plunge and we do it every single day seven days a week it's a habit it's not like three days a week or two days a week or like once in a while if we feel like it we do it every morning and because it's a habit there is no excuse that the, the brain, the mind can make. There is no thought that can keep us from doing this. Why? Because it is a way of being. It's not that we do the cold plunge. It's not some action of a cold plunge. We are the type of people who do ice baths and overcome challenges. And uh, so yeah, make it a habit. Do it every single day. Whatever the challenge is, don't skip. Work out, do it every day. Eating healthy, do it every day. Ice bath, do it every day. So the third way to do an ice bath and overcome any challenge is to do the hardest thing first. So for example, a lot of people, they go work out, and then they do the ice bath. But sometimes, the, during the workout, you may get enough dopamine, especially if you're listening to music or fucking around with like talking to people. And you will do that, and then your brain will make an excuse like, oh, I don't need to do an ice bath. Oh, you know what, I need to get home fast. You know what, it's, uh, it's enough. It's enough of a workout today. Or, oh, you know what, uh, I, I wanna do hypertrophy, so if I do an ice bath, maybe my muscles won't work. You, your brain will come up with some stupid excuse. Um, so do the hardest thing first. So for example, in the morning, we do workout first. Uh, we do reading first, right? Things that are hard. Things like working out, meditating, waking up early it's hard so we do it first an ice bath we do first all right i'm always gratitude at the end you do something really hard be grateful that you were able to do it you were able to do the habit that you had a community to do it with and that you did the hardest thing first and friend is still here that's it